All right, guys and girls, this is Jernigam here. Lots of people are lost in their own head, in their own brain, and they keep screaming out for help, but nobody listens to them. People see that unwell, people know that unwell, but the only thing is, why isn't a lot more people helping? They didn't know how to, they did not want to. Do some people find it funny that people are ill and unwell, which is very sickening to a lot of people. Imagine living in your head with fear, anger all the time, hatred, wondering what people are going to be thinking about you every day, constantly every day, um, panicking, worrying about people coming after you, looking over your shoulder, can't even walk down the road or walk out your own front door, or can't even talk to people because you don't know who they know, who they talk to. Just imagine just trying to make friends in the world and people don't see the same things you see. And uh, I watched something interesting on Netflix. Uh, what basically it was, it was called The Lost Key. This person put a key at the back of someone's head like this. Went into their brain. All of a sudden, it was like a corridor with lockers in a school. And they were trying to find this lady to try and get her well again. But the thing is, the lady was trapped as well. She wanted to get out of this crazy world. She didn't want to be in there anymore. She wanted to be back to normal. But the key in the brain, and they took her out of there and showed her herself what she looked like in a mental hospital in this lost key on Netflix. If you've seen it before, it's very interesting episodes. They go into different worlds and different people's minds. Sometimes it'd be as a ghost. It's, it's, lots of people have seen this on Netflix. Some people haven't. But anyway, what was I saying? Uh, perhaps a lot of these people in the world feel the same way she did. I know it's only a film and it's only made up, but it makes you feel like it's real. But anyway, guys, girls, ladies and gentlemen, um, imagine if we could just get a time machine, go in there and find these lost people and bring them back home. Sometimes they want to get home, but they can't find their way back home. They're trapped, scared, lonely people that need our help. Would we expect help as well? Of course we would. Nobody likes to be on their own. Some people can survive, some people can't. I'm trying to hold this phone up, even though the phone's a uh, second. The phone's uh, all over the place. Um, some people know how we feel. Others don't. Um, some people walk past us and ignore us. It's like the homeless people, men and women, children, teenagers on the streets. People walk past them and don't acknowledge them and don't help them. Sometimes they do help the other people and ignore the others and take the mick out of them. I mean, how would they feel if they were in that situation? Some people don't want to be in this situation. Um... The whole world's a crazy place, and uh, some people get lost in the war zone and can't find their way home. It's like in real life, you get lost in real life, your own family and your friends turn against you. What do you do? Bring yourself up. Live life the way it is. Or just to keep fighting in the world. To live another day. People talk behind your back, bullies and haters. But will people believe them? Some people don't make it in the world, unfortunately, which is very saddening. Even though we wish people did make it in the world. Some of us survive, some of us don't. Some of us get taken by the disease in the world, these bullies and haters. Some of us, unfortunately, are not with us on this earth anymore of old age. Or have actually done things to upset other people and their friends and their family and they've disowned them. Or people have taken their own, that's sad to say it, their own life and... Uh, I want people to live and to be strong and to be happy in this world that we're in, the great world that we're in. I want people to feel safe and make friends and don't feel intimidated and bullied just because of idiots. I want people to feel strong and happy, that like they can do things, they can walk anywhere they want to walk instead of getting feeling threatened and intimidated by dickhead gangs and people that want to judge them and hate them because of what they wear or what uh, their mindset is. We all think differently in this world. Why can't people see it? And... Uh, Moms and dads probably worry for their kids, teenagers, their daughters, sons, brothers, uncles, friends, aunties. People worry about everybody. Some people probably don't care about people. But the majority of people care because we've got hearts inside us, we think. And we want to live like everybody else. Once you're on this world, then you leave this world to somewhere else. Hopefully there's something... After life, after death, hopefully. We can see up there, 
even though the Queen's died, but bring the Queen into it. She lived a lot of lives in World War One, World War Two. Queen Elizabeth and her mum as well lived a long time too. Um, I think the Queen's mum lived to 101, 102, I don't know. And the Queen died at 98, I think, I don't know. But anyway, um, she could be welcoming all the people to heaven if there's a place, in the case they cross over as well. If there's a place called hell, some people probably go to hell. Can people change? Of course they can. Some people don't know how to change. People find it hard when people don't show them how to change. Perhaps they don't know the way. Like we all get lost in our own world, in our own ways. Like me, for my example. I feel quite lost in the world in my own ways. Like, my, do my friends, do my family care about me? And do they want to help me? Or do they just pretend to help me? Some people do, some people don't. It takes a lot of guts and a lot of courage to actually make a video and get up there and speak. Some people don't know how to make a video and talk. But for me, I am me, um, I am original. I'm not limited edition because it's not a game, obviously. This is real life. Some people play with people's lives. There's some sick people out there, psychos, idiots. You name it, you name it. But the thing is, you know, the world's upside down. Will it get better? It could do. Um, but the thing was in the back of my head and the back of my brain. But one day will I have to fight on that front line to save my friends and my family? Will there be a war in the UK, World War Three? But if Putin gets backed into a corner, he will fight and set the missiles off. Ukraine is doing well. Will Putin basically um, employ 50,000 women in the army to fight for him? Will he go for the prisoners and the prisoners to fight for him? Will he find any other people there? His army is going down. Ukraine are uh, getting people that are 60 to fight men and women, children, boys and girls probably want to fight. Same with the Russian side. No one wants a war. No one wants craziness. Don't be mix up all of a bit with all these illnesses and diseases that go around. One day, will more people survive even more? Better technology, better things we see and things we hear. There's too much people that have got their own head up their own asses in the world. They don't love one another and see one another. What could we do to sort it out? We just need more help in the world. Sometimes it's hard to find the help that we need. You know? We all struggle. Some of us find our way home. Some of us never come back home. Some of us walk out of our front door and don't come back again. Um, it is the way it is guys and girls and ladies and gentlemen sad to say what would you guys and girls and ladies and gentlemen do in your shoes would you do the same things I do or do things differently see me I'm just an ordinary person ordinary guy I haven't got a choice what I do I'm here protecting my land my friends and my family you see Nobody wanted this war. And all these words that I spoke from years ago in the video said war would come to England, and it did came. It happened. we just got to keep defending our country the best way we can. It can either go two ways. We could either stop the war, Russia and Ukraine, or make friends. Or we do get dragged into the war. We could do. It's madness, guys and girls and ladies and gentlemen. Madness. Craziness. There's always hope at the end of a tunnel, eh? Buy never oil, money, drugs, weapons. And keep yourself strong and safe. Don't get yourself caught in the crossfire. Sometimes you can't help it. But I'll fight or survive. Will I put you in a prison? Anyway. Better go guys, girls, ladies, gentlemen, thank you for listening to me, and keep safe, keep strong, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care of your peace. Thank you for joining me. What's your decision going to be? Fight or survive? More hide, and they'll find you eventually. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Take care of your peace. See you later.